free ion terms can be pulled out from the number of microstates that we saw in the Russell Saunders coupling. So if we just briefly look back at that sheet here, you'll notice that there's one state that has the combination of an M sub L being four and um, spin being zero. There's two states for three and zero, three states for two, four states for one and zero, and five. So that has been now reduced to just the, simply this chart here, where I've just written down the results of us determining all of those microstates. This will simplify what we're going to do next, which is pull out the free ion terms. Now to do this, you really look at kind of some, what I would describe as some rectangles from here. And you wanna start with the widest and tallest possible rectangle. So let's do that. First, with the D2, you'll see that there is a state here. There's at least one here, there. And you can see that there's a large kind of box here. That box is three states wide, and it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tall. Since it is three wide, it is a triplet state. And since it is seven tall, the term is F. Because that corresponds to um, an L equaling um, three. And so, that's where it comes from. You can kind of think of that as being like an F orbital and F orbitals have seven positions. That's another way to remember it. So now that we've done that, all of these get reduced by one that came out of that particular rectangle. So we'll try to keep track of this without making it too messy. Although there's going to be quite a few numbers here. So these are gone because that's that was one and then we already used those up, right? And now all of these are now one because we took one of them away, incorporating it into this triplet F. And then here in the middle, this becomes a one, that becomes a two, this is now three. Or you kind of get the idea. One. Next, uh, let's just go again with the widest um, rectangle that we can pull out, which would be another triplet. And it is now three tall. So this would be a triplet P. So three tall, that's a P. If it was four tall, that'd be a D. Um, again, kind of matching that. So now these are gone because we pulled out that term and these will be reduced again by one. Okay, so now all of these side Ones are empty, and so we're just left with one width, so a singlet. And now if we count, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tall. After F, it counts up to G, because after F it goes in alphabetical order. So there's G. In case you were wondering where these terms come from, it was from spectroscopy. 
and I, I better keep track of what I'm doing here before I get too far into story time. So now we have another singlet, which is one, two, three, four. Um, no, wait, that one's gone. One, two, three tall. So three tall, singlet P. And then the last one is a singlet S. All right, so back to um, what I was going to say. It counts SPDF because it stands for sharp, principal, diffuse, fundamental. And then after that, they decided we better be uh, more a little more systematic about it so it then goes alphabetical order but then of course skips the ones that are already used like P and S um, for the remainder so there's the free ion terms for uh, D2 Might have made a mistake here. Mm. Yes, sorry. This is singlet D. I, I miscalculated some of these probably when I was talking um, about other things. So it counts from one, two, three, four, five. I misdid that. All right. Sometimes it's better to rewrite this uh, table so that you, that doesn't happen to you. Okay. Let's look at the P3 free ion terms. This is a little simpler. First, the widest one is four wides. One, two, three, four. So that is a quartet, and it is one tall, so S. So these are now gone, and that's reduced down to two. Next, we have something that is two wide and one, two, three, four, five tall. So doublet D, and then we'll have one that is two wide and three tall, so doublet P. So there's the free ion terms, and we get those from the microstates that we determined before.